across our world we live, in cities and villages, all part of a greater whole, but we're not alone. They come in herds, hives and swarms, packs, prides and pairs, living in nature, members of society. In all four corners of the world, on nearly every continent and landmass, the great cats roam the wilderness, in jungles and grasslands, to deserts and snowy mountains. The great cats are a group of apex predators resting firmly at the top of the food chain. Eight species in all, including the tiger, the lion, the leopard, the jaguar, the cougar, the cheetah, and the clouded and snow leopards. Ranging in size from the largest, the Siberian tiger, weighing up to 800 pounds, to the smallest, the cheetah, weighing as little as 45 pounds. They are all large, fast-moving, active hunters, the most iconic of which being the lion. Almost twice the size of a full-grown man and weighing close to a quarter of a ton, it is the second largest cat in existence. It is distinct for its large size, tan fur, and the majestic mane of the adult males. Evolving less than a million years ago, spreading throughout Africa and even into Europe and Asia Minor. Today it can be found across sub-Saharan Africa with an additional small population in India. The largest concentration being in the Serengeti of Tanzania, home to over 3,000 lions. Divided into eight subspecies, the different lions are only subtly different in size and anatomy. All being fundamentally similar in social structure and behavior. Lions being unique among great cats in that they socialize in larger groups known as prides, usually numbering between five to six individuals, though up to 30 have been observed as part of a single cohesive pride often centered around a single large adult male with several closely related females. Though prides with multiple males have been observed known as coalitions. With the male or males primarily tasked with protecting the pride and its cubs from other predators as well as stray lions looking to challenge him for dominance or encroaching neighboring prides. Staying on the fringes of the prize territory, which is centered around a permanent nest or resting area, while the lionesses are the ones to hunt. Being smaller, quicker and more agile than the males. Both nocturnal as well as crepuscular, the lionesses emerge often late in the afternoon to hunt. Gathering in smaller groups with fixed roles in the hunt and reoccurring coordination behavior. Preying mainly on wildebeest, zebras and warthogs. Lions are primarily sprinters, rather than long-distance runners. They stalk their prey, sometimes over vast distances, attempting to get close to their prey undetected, until they strike. With a single vice-like bite to the neck, the prey asphyxiates on its own blood, smaller prey being taken back to the lion's territory for consumption, while larger prey too big to carry is eaten on the spot often for several hours under the cover of darkness. Though many are additionally scavengers, taking over prey that other predators such as hyenas or wild dogs previously killed. The male and the hunting lionesses eating first, while others, such as lionesses in charge of the cubs, as well as the cubs themselves, are lower in priority. As such, lions have a variety of vocal and non-vocal communication, ranging from scent markings to delineate the pride area to a variety of vocalizations, including roars for a display of dominance and aggression, which can be heard up to six miles away at its loudest, and quite the grunts and hisses for interactions within the pride. Body language being highly important with several different means of expression through stance and movement alone, rolling onto its back as a sign of submission, arching its shoulders and spine for aggression and dominance. Lions are also unique among the great cats for their significant gender dimorphism, 
the male having a thick mane as a sign of virility and dominance, the color and texture of which being indicative of the lion's health and status. The males are also considerably larger and stockier in build than the females, in order to more effectively compete for the females and ward off other lions. Due to their social structure, lions are generally polygynous, one male mating with several females within its pride. Mating season taking place several times a year, lasting several days with regular intervals. With minimal courtship practices, as soon as the lioness is in heat, the male will approach her, mounting her from behind and biting her neck to keep her in place, pinning her to the ground, as the mating act itself is painful for the female. Although it is not uncommon for lionesses to mate up to 40 times every day, both parties often neglecting to eat. Afterward, the lioness will writhe and roll on the ground in order to increase the chances of conception, while the male will often steer clear to avoid postcoital aggression from the female. Lion gestation period is usually around 110 days. The female seeking out a secluded den, either in a cave or a thicket, away from the rest of the pride to give birth to a litter between one to four cubs. The cubs are born blind and defenseless, weighing just two to four pounds, the lioness initially taking care of the cubs by herself, changing dens frequently during the first month to avoid the scent of the cubs being picked up by predators while she hunts. The cubs develop quickly, however, learning how to crawl within days and walking around by three weeks of age. Nursing at first, but soon able to eat solid food. As they are then integrated back into the pride at six to eight weeks of age. At which point, the lionesses will partake in raising the cubs, as the reproductive cycles of the females are often synchronized to allow for shared breastfeeding and protection. The cubs are aggressively playing among themselves and the adults to practice hunting strategies and social interactions. While the male takes no active role in parenting the cubs, it will also help protect them whenever threatened, as they remain highly vulnerable not only to predators such as wild dogs, jackals and hyenas, but also other lions challenging the males for dominance. If another male lion takes over the pride, it may often kill the existing cubs in order for the females to bear its own. 80% of all lions not surviving their first year, many additionally dying from starvation. Cubs usually reach maturity around two to three years of age, at which point the females get integrated into the pride as a part of the core group, while male lions usually leave to form a nomadic existence until they grow large enough to challenge a weaker, older male for leadership of a new pride, a process that may take several years. A fight which often leaves one of the lions badly wounded, sometimes even fatally so, with most lions living only until 10 to 16 years in the wild. Despite being the foremost predator in their habitat, falling victims to disease, starvation or other lions. The Leopard, a loosely defined group of medium-sized wildcats. The Snow Leopard, the Clouded Leopard, and the nine subspecies of leopard. Known for their long body, short and stocky legs, and large, powerful skull, as well as their spotted and patterned fur with alternating large ring-like patterns known as rosettes and solid spots. Distinct from the larger jaguar in that their spots are more numerous, lighter and smaller. With the clouded leopard having large circled dark patches rather than spots. Used for camouflage in their varying environments. Mostly found in rainforests, savannas and temperate forests throughout Africa, the Middle East, Southeast and Central Asia, China and the Indian subcontinent. With the snow leopard additionally being found in mountainous regions of the Himalayas. Though, also like jaguars, leopards may occasionally come in the panther form, where their fur takes on a completely black color with only faint markings present. Ranging in size from the largest Persian leopard at 100 inches long from head to tail, weighing up to 200 pounds, to the clouded leopard being 50 inches long, weighing as little as 25 pounds. Males of all species being typically larger and significantly heavier than the females, 
They are strong climbers, often preferring climbing a tree for shade and protection when resting. Coming down mostly to hunt or to socialize. As they are occasionally the apex predator of their habitat, having among the largest ranges of prey of any cat. Typically preying on ungulates such as wildebeest, gazelles and antelopes. To smaller animals such as monkeys, lizards, snakes or fish, even insects as well as other predators such as jackals, hyenas and foxes. They are rivaled only by tigers and lions in some areas as the apex predator, preferring stealth and surprise rather than chase. Leopards use their camouflage to get close to its prey before striking. The leopard is a patient predator if opportunistic, not only hunting but also feeding on carrion, often dragging up their meal into trees for later consumption sometimes carrying prey much larger than themselves to great heights. As many other larger cats and hyenas will often overpower and scare off the leopard and steal its prey. In areas shared with tigers, prey partitioning also occurs with leopards taking on the smaller prey ignored by tigers. Primarily nocturnal or crepuscular, leopards emerge at dusk to hunt resting during the day in one of several chosen resting spots throughout the area. Leopards generally keep a home range varying in size between 12 square miles up to 30 for males, with female ranges being significantly smaller between 5 to 6 square miles. Male ranges frequently overlapping with those of nearby females, often being completely surrounded by female dominated territories. Though generally solitary during most of the day, these overlaps can result in significant socialization between sexes, males frequently encountering females even outside of mating purposes, occasionally even sharing kills with females. Though males rarely meet or socialize with other males, and when they do, it often ends in combat over territory or mates, which can lead to serious or even fatal injuries. Their territory marked with claw marks on popular trees and urine markings as their sense of smell is significantly more sensitive than that of a human. Also using a variety of vocalizations for communication as their hearing is highly developed. Including roars, growls and hisses for hostile encounters. Grunts for acknowledgements. As well as softer meows and purrs to signal peaceful intent and playfulness. Additionally, using body language much like other cats to show dominance or submission, arching their back or rolling around respectively, with many particularly younger leopards socializing through play fighting. Mating season for leopards can occur year-round, as female leopards will go into ostrich cycles every one to two months, though it is highly dependent on the climate and the species, with the leopards in colder regions mating exclusively during January and February to ensure ample food supply for the cubs during the following summer. The female is usually in heat between five to eight days, emitting powerful pheromones, marking their territory with urine and calling for a mate. Most leopards being either polygynous, one male seeking out several females, or serially monogamous, as the short time span will sometimes preclude seeking out multiple mates. Mating then occurring with minimal courtship, consisting of a simple greeting and mutual sniffing and grooming. The mating itself being similar to all cats, the male pinning the female down and biting her neck some males being particularly aggressive to the point of injuring the female, mating being brief and repeated, often repeated between 10 to 40 times a day. The male then leaves for his own home range, not taking part in raising their young. The female would then seek to give birth in a crevice, cave or thicket, following a gestation period of between 90 to 105 days, giving birth to between two to six cubs, most litters having three cubs on average. They are born blind and defenseless, only being able to see after the first week. Able to eat solid food only at two months old, though continuing nursing for the first year. Their fur generally longer and thicker than adults, with less defined spots. At three months of age, the cubs begin hunting alongside their mother, though they are only able to fend for themselves at a year old. Staying with the mother for an additional year for protection from predators until they've grown to near full size learning how to hunt larger prey as well as how to select and defend a range. 
at which point they leave the mother's territory to establish a new one of their own, with females often staying nearby. The mortality rate of cubs often being very high, up to 50% during the first year, due to predation by jackals, hyenas, wild dogs, crocodiles and even baboons, as well as other great cats, much like how adult leopards will sometimes prey on lion cubs. Though it is uncommon for leopard males to attack an unrelated leopard cub, leopards typically reaching maturity at age 2 for females, age 3 for males, their lifespan being typically between 10 to 15 years in the wild. The Tiger Among the most infamous of all the great cats, Distinctive and instantly recognizable for its orange, black striped fur and large size. As the biggest of all the great cats, it can reach up to 11 feet in length, weighing up to 800 pounds. Though they may vary greatly in size between each of the 10 extant subspecies. The smallest, the Sumatran tiger, being a quarter of the size of the largest, the Siberian tiger, also known as the Amur tiger. Unlike other great cats, adult tigers are often too heavy to effectively climb trees, staying at ground level at nearly all times. Once ubiquitous throughout Asia, it can today be found in a variety of environments, ranging from the snowy forest of the Russian Far East, to the tropical jungles of Southeast Asia and the open plains of the Indian subcontinent. Their striped fur ideal as camouflage among trees and dense vegetation, often hiding in tall grass or in deep layers of foliage, as they are exclusively predatory, preying mainly on large and medium-sized ungulates, such as wild deer and antelope, as well as wild boar, buffalo and moose. An apex predator, tigers have no natural enemies, existing alone at the top of the food chain in every environment it's found in having been known to hunt dogs, leopards and bears, even other tigers. Using their superior sense of hearing and eyesight as well as scent to locate their prey, hunting both during the day as well as night, stalking and sneaking up close to their prey, using their immense strength to run down its prey, bite down on its throat and wrestle it to the ground, crushing its larynx. Hunting whenever it feels hungry or threatened, or, as with females, in preparation for mating season. Solitary in nature, most adult tigers of both genders have a firmly established territory, centered around a permanent den, either in a cave or a hollow tree, and guarded with scent markings of urine and claw marks, indicating to other tigers the gender, reproductive status and identity of the tiger, as they also often share a larger surrounding home range with other tigers, developing complex relationships with its neighbors, even occasionally forming pairs or small groups if there are cubs to protect, though these groups are seldom permanent. They also share their kills, in particularly males prone to let females eat first before having their fill. As such, tigers use a variety of vocalizations for communication, loud roars for intimidation as a sign of dominance, which can be heard for up to two miles around. A shorter, harsher, coughing roar, also used for close encounters to establish a nearest distance and to avoid conflict. Also using a rolling soft growl, also known as a chuff, as a sign of playfulness or affection. Closest in function to that of a cat's purr, used only by tigers and snow leopards among the great cats. Also using grunting and growling, meows and hisses. Though females are generally more open to other females, accepting of the others passing through the area, males often violently clash in fierce combat, which may occasionally even be fatal. The size of the territory determined by the availability and density of its prey, but also by gender, usually spanning about 7 or 8 square miles for females, up to 40 square miles for males roaming a larger area to stay near as many females as possible, as they are generally polygynous. Males mating with as many females as possible. Mating season occur once a year, varying between subspecies and location, usually occurring somewhere between November and April. 
though the female is only fertile for a brief period of three to six days. The male seeking out the females based on their scent and calls similar to yowling sounds emitted by the female. With the minimal courtship required, the male approaching cautiously nonetheless so as to not to frighten the female. Though the male may also be challenged by another nearby male for mating rights, violent fights and shows of dominance ensuing, many males bow to an older, more experienced rival. Mating then begins, being brief and repeated. Mating frequently with loud calls, as it is thought to be painful for the female. The male biting her neck to hold her down, much like other cats. Tiger pregnancy lasts on average between 93 to 112 days taking care to choose a proper place to give birth in a thicket, cave or rocky crevice. Giving birth to a litter of two to three cubs, up to six for older females. The male taking no part in raising their young. The cubs are born blind and defenseless, weighing between one and a half to three pounds. Opening their eyes and exploring their surroundings only after their first week, wandering out of the den at two months. Those staying within the mother's established territory, though they are instinctively protected by the mother for the first two years, weaning at six months before being taught how to hunt alongside their mother. Nevertheless, the mortality rate among cubs is up to 50% for the first years. Either due to predation, starvation, exposure to the elements, or due to injuries sustained during the hunt. As well as from other unrelated males killing them in order to put a female in heat again, so that she may bear its own cubs. Since she may become receptive and capable of birthing another litter within five months if the first one is lost. More often than not, a dominant cub emerged from the litter, usually a male. Leading the others in play and exploration, it is commonly the first one to leave the mother and start adulthood, marking initial territories nearby, but moving further away as it grows older. The females reaching sexual maturity between three to four years of age, while the males can take up to five years before being capable to reproduce, maturity among the males being linked primarily to size, with no natural enemies, tigers live on average up to 25 years in the wild. Tigers, just like leopards and lions, thus form an essential component in the wild. Powerful and fast-moving cats, they maintain the natural balance of predator and prey, whether hunting in groups, pairs, or all alone. Each of them are born, live out their lives, and breed a new generation providing food for their cubs, as well as natural selection for their prey. Being integral in the circle of life out in the wilderness, each of them a member of an animal society.